Okay, today I'd like to keep on our journey on the One Hub, and today's box is Noob. To save the time, I have already imported into the watch box, and the IP address has been identified as two hundred and fifty-four. And also, as you can see, I have already completed the Nmap scanning. And from the scanning result, we can know there are three. Yes,、yeah, three open ports. The first one is twenty one, which runs FTP. And、uh, the second one is eighty, which is for HTTP. And the next one is five 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 zero seven seven for SSH. Very big port number. But it doesn't matter. So the next thing we can do, do some emulation for each of the ports, especially the FTP. Okay, so we can FTP, and、uh, we can try if we log in as anonymous user, anonymous user, and we can, and list the file. Yeah, we have two file. The first one is welcome. And we can download these two files into our local Kali Linux, and also get the CRUD and quit, and we can list the content, and we can cut the welcome. Sorry. Yeah, we are glad to see you here. All the best, and also we can cut the CRUD txt. Okay, this apparently is encoded by some algorithm. So maybe the base sixty-four echo. Sorry. Oh. Okay, so this is the username and the password, but、uh, we do not know、uh, such credentials. What application will be used by this credential? So, but、uh, of course, now we need to go to go over to the next port, which is eighty. So we can. Okay, this is the portal. And we can input the username and the password like、uh, admin and the password. Invalid username and password. So I think the this password should be、uh, for this portal. The the champ. So here the username is should be champ, and the password is password. Don't the same. Okay, we log in, and here's some link like home about us. But as you can see, when we click this super link, we should、uh, we may download this file. Okay, downloads. Okay, and we can move this file from downloads directory. To our working directory. Okay, so we can、uh, uncompress this file. Okay, so we can use downloads. Downloads. Oh. Oh, downloads. So the command is incorrect with a full pass without archived pass. So we can. Maybe here. 
downloads. Okay, no problem. And uh, we go to the directory, list the content, and we have three files. The first one is the funny, and also sudo. Sudo, interesting. But it's a bit weird. So why? Why sudo? So we can catch sudo. Do you notice the file name? File name is sudo. It isn't is interesting. Yes, it is. So maybe this two file has some hidden message. We can use stack height. Funny. Oh, enter pass phrase. We do not have. We can use the seek. Yeah, extracting to funny. Dot gpg dot out. Let's. Okay, let's funny. Gpg dot out. This is not a Python file, but you are revolving around. Well, try to rotate some words too. So I think we have already enumerated information from two files: the sudo and the funny dot gpg. So about what about the remaining one, the funny dot bmp? So we can file funny. Although the extension for this file is BMP, but uh, from the file command we can know this file is actually JPEG file. So it's a bit weird, right? And uh, so also we can we needed to know whether this file has some hidden information or message. So like uh, we use the stack height. Extract, funny, but we do not know the past phrase. So also we can use the stack seek. Yeah. Oh, couldn't find a valid past phrase. Yeah. But you, I think we can. We can see the here the information. Try to rotate. No, maybe this one. Do you notice the file name? File name is sudo. So maybe the passphrase is the this password. For the so we can use the funny. And the passphrase is sudo. Yeah, it did. It can work. It works. And we can list the content again. Get the user. Dot. Yes, I think the message has been obfuscated or encrypted. So, also as you we do you remember, try to rotate some words too. So rotate. So we can use the subchef. Site to help us to decrypt this message. Okay, and we can copy this message into the subchef, and we can select the encryption method as lot. Lot. So the the three methods for lot. So we can try the first one. Yeah. So we, I think we got the username and the password. And、uh, I think now we need to, uh, to check whether we can log in to the SSH. The username is WPF and the IP address of target. And also we need to. Specify the 
Sorry, uh, I forgot to make a note. Our our port number for SSH, yeah, 55077. Five 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 zero seven seven. Yes, and we can copy the password. Yeah, we successfully log in as WTF. So we can do some local em enumeration. And uh, so where are we? Hmm. Oh, has it back up? So, but we need to check uh, we if we have the sudo command can run. And copy the password. Again, yeah, we can run any command as root user. So this box is very, very simple. Yeah, now we have already switched over to root shell and go to the root directory. And we got the root flag here. Okay, so that's it. And this box, as you can see through this, um, uh, our procedure is a bit simple and straightforward. But anyway, thank you for your watching and uh, patience. If you like it or find uh, this video uh, has some value, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.